So what's up? What's the deal, guys? Welcome back to another edition of JA News. Up? Salute to you for tuning in. As always, I'm hitting you with the latest stories here in the world of sneakers. So for today's show, we're talking upcoming releases. It looks like the next set of Made in USA releases from New Balance are on the way. And there's a particular pair I feel like you guys should definitely have your eyes on. We're going to be talking Nike sneakers, shock drops, as well as exclusive access. And it looks like somebody from the Yeezy camp spilled the beans and we got new Ye on the way. And I'm not just talking a couple of verses. We have a new album 100% confirmed in the work. So stay tuned for all of that. Plus more. And it's coming right up next all right so you guys can catch brand new episodes of ja news weekdays mondays through fridays right here so be sure to subscribe don't miss any updates so to kick off today's show we're going to be talking the nike sneakers app right after we wrapped up yesterday's episode of ja news we had a 2 p.m eastern shock drop for the jordan one low nc to chicago a sneaker that pays homage to michael jordan's basketball career starting off from his early days at north carolina all the way through his pro journey with the chicago bulls so these joints were a cool little woman's exclusive release let me know if any of you guys were able to grab these for the shock drop and Although there are reports out there that Jordans are sitting on shelves across the world, the Jordan brand still continues to increase their annual sales year after year. And I feel like they're able to do that with these very strategic releases. So just take, for example, today's drop. If you look at the prices on the secondary market, they're like literally just hovering right above retail and with today's current sneaker climate a lot of people buy sneakers based on the fact that if they have resale value on the secondary market and of course jordan brand they're paying very close attention which is why i feel like we get these very strategic releases where you'll see actually two shock drops or should i say a shock drop and then they hit us with the exclusive access before the official release just take a look at the jordan 1 unc toe which just recently shock dropped now there's rumors that nike produced over 600,000 pairs of these sneakers can you imagine if they were to drop all of them at once you would probably see pairs go for under retail but because they're hitting us with the shock drop and then we're going to probably get exclusive access coming up sometime soon for that pair you're going to see them hovering right above retail which will then drive up demand and then you know more sales for the brand so if you look back at the summer of 2023 and all of the jordan releases that we've had so far how many memorable releases have we had i feel like rather than strategizing on these like intricate release strategies i feel like jordan brand should just come with the heat because rather than doing these shock drops and all that if they just actually release pairs that people were checking for the pairs would sell themselves and no need for all of this extra marketing you know shock drop exclusive access stuff so i apologize if that kind of came off as a rant but i just can't stress enough that resale value does not determine if a sneaker is hot or not and maybe i could be wrong guys maybe with nike hitting us with these exclusive access and shock drops maybe it gives people a better chance to be able to cop these sneakers because let's say if they just drop them all at once maybe bodice would just eat up all of the pairs so let me know what you guys think anyways we're gonna shift gears over to new balance it looks like the next set of teddy santis made in usa releases are upon us and i gotta say that the last set of releases i wasn't a huge fan of maybe because i'm not a big fan of purple sneakers but these next pairs are nice so we got the strawberry cream 996 you got the creamy 990 v4 as well as the creamy 990 v6 and out of all three of these pairs of course the 990 v6 has caught my attention i'm a fan of this new futuristic silhouette from new balance and this creamy color scheme may just be the one so i've been eyeing a pair of these and i think this might be the one i have to pull the trigger on these joints are coming in at 220 bucks so a pretty steep price for a runner but i feel like they are definitely worth it so let me know if you guys are excited for any of these pairs you may want to be aware that if you're looking to grab that 990 v6 that pairs potentially have the chance to sell out now i wouldn't say that they would just instantly sell out but because this is a limited release you know expect them to sell out over time just saying 
don't sleep on these joints. And for our final story of the day, after much speculation and rumors, it is now 100% confirmed by a Yeezy Insider who kind of spilled the beans that we got a new Ye album on the way. So if you guys aren't following the scene, of course, Ye, he's been spending a lot of time out in Tokyo. It's been what, like weeks, maybe even a month now. And when it first started, it felt like maybe he was just spending some time to get away, a little vacation, R&R. &R. But then we started to see some Yeezy designers pop up. So maybe he could have been starting to work, you know, cooking up some new ideas and stuff. But then we started to see music artists as well as producers, past collaborators, start to show up in Tokyo as well. So we saw 88 Keys pull up, music producer as well as longtime friend of Ye. We saw Digital Nas out there in Tokyo as well, producer from Donda One. Then we started to see some artists pull up. We saw Ty Dolla Sign. Now, Ty Dolla Sign, you know, he's a well-established artist, so maybe he could have just been out there in Tokyo doing some shows or something like that. But then we saw Ruga pull up in Ruga, He's more of like a regional artist based out of Chicago. He was on the Donda One project and apparently him and Ye still maintain a close relationship to this day. So Ruga being out there in Tokyo led a lot of people to speculate that they definitely gotta be cooking something up. So during a recent interview that was pre-recorded probably like sometime last week on the No Jumper podcast with Adam22, Ruga, he revealed that he would be flying out to Tokyo and the reason for the trip would be to work on Ye's new album. So it now is 100% confirmed that we have a new album on the way. And I feel like with the way that this is like Ye's whole huge, big comeback, this might have potential to be an amazing project. But who am I kidding? This is like the greatest music artist of our generation. So I'm expecting nothing but the best. Now, what could something from Ye's new album sound like? I would imagine that we're probably gonna get a mix of like probably some of the finished Donda 2 songs that were mumble tracks. And of course, we'll probably get a mix of new records. If you guys follow Ye's catalog, his recent projects, you know, he's finished up a lot of scrap songs that were from like the 2019, 2020 era. A lot of those tracks ended up being on Donda. And then some of them were on the like unfinished Donda 2 mumbles that we got with the stem player. So a lot of those songs, I feel like if finished would be classics. Um, of course, you have some of those unfinished James Blake records as well. So, so many potentials. There's so many crazy unfinished leaks that are flowing all across the internet. So I could just imagine what this project could sound like. And what do you guys think the name would be? Donda 2? Um, or do you feel like Donda 2 is finished and this would be like Donda 3? Or do you feel like Ye is going to come with a completely new project. One thing I could say though, is gonna be real interesting to monitor to see what artists and producers we're gonna to start to see fly out to Tokyo. So it looks like this is how the rollout is gonna begin and we have a new Ye album on the way. So let me know what you guys think about that as well as the all of the topics covered here in today's video. Salute to each and every one of you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys drop a thumbs up, stay safe, stay blessed, and I will catch y'all tomorrow. Love.